bro, I'm really, 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 really getting tired of this. I'm really getting tired of this, bro. I'm I'm really, really getting tired of these so-called, first of all, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to uh, the channel of the greatest of the greatest, and that is myself, Josh Samuel. And, you know, I'm sure many of you have been, uh, you know, quiet over the weekend. A lot of you all are prepping for the new year. You know, some of you all have went to your nearest pharmacy and uh, looked in the Trojan uh, KNY aisle. And that's not none of my business, but I know that's what some of y'all are doing. Some of y'all are, you know, getting ready to buy the fish and um, collard greens and, uh, you know, bottles of rum the to toast with your pals and that's cool you know new year's is typically a a very uh fun time of of the year you know you know it, it's always great it's always a blessing uh to see another year but that's not the topic of tonight's video you see what we have is yet another so-called professional who chooses to be an ass, use use his platform, use his uh positioning, his position to be an ass online. And what do I mean by that? Well, look no further than what's in front of you. For what we have is a person with the blue check on Twitter going at Man of Steel, going at people that like Man of Steel. And I'm getting tired of this. This isn't the first time this has happened. Look, I'm a nice guy, but if anything comes up on my feet saying nice things about Man of Steel, I'm going to come at you with lead pipe cruelty. And by lead pipe cruelty, I mean righteous anger at the discretion of a great character at the altar of gritty and edgy. And bro, really, really. But but see but see this is the shit I'm talking about. This is the stuff I'm talking about. DCU fans are the toxic ones. But God help us if we make a comment like this. God help us all if I. God help me if I if I make a, make a comment in defense of Man of Steel. I'm I'm wrong. I don't know Superman. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired of this shit, bro. And I'm not the only one. Let's read some of the replies. You know, really just doesn't make any sense. You call yourself a professional. You should act as such. You shouldn't be spending your valuable time. I've always said this and I'll say it again. If you don't like something, why are you concerned about the people that do? Why do you want to bother and bully those that do? I'm not playing anymore, bro. Shout out to uh, Jadon, it ex uh, hashtag it exists. You were asking for you were just asking for these responses. Man of Steel is a brilliant and heartfelt story. Truly a masterpiece. Um, shout out to Drew Law. I, I saw uh Crimes of, of uh Grindelwald uh, a few weeks back. Eh, eh, you know, the performances were good, but th that's another video. Man of Steel shout out to uh, uh Brother DC Fam 16. Man of Steel is a badass, fresh Superman film that revitalized the characters and mythos of film that made Bank garnered many fans old and new. Zack Snyder is beloved by millions around the world, so keep being a petty bitch and hating. And I agree. Let me like that. Another comment. Man of Steel was a masterpiece. The one and most respectful version of character of the character. Anyone that tells you otherwise is either an idiot or hasn't paid attention to both the movies and the comics. Shout out to uh brother Theos Unfeeling. My brother uh Erfan Khan. Man of Steel is a masterpiece. A well worth entertainer worth every penny spent on it. Hashtag release the Snyder Cut. It, it shout, again, shout out to brother Khan, man. It exists, and we we are gonna see the glory, you know. And again, I don't, I don't have a problem 
with anybody dis choosing to dislike something. But I have a problem when professionals, quote unquote professionals, get online and try to antagonize and fuck with people that do. You know what I'm saying? You know, just just scrolling through the comments, man, like. And again, what do I always say? It says a lot that two of the most so-called hated superhero films in Man of Steel in BVS still get brought up. But you never see this with a Marvel movie. Cue to dislike. You never see movies that are supposedly well liked be as mentioned or brought up like Man of Steel, like BVS. Leonidas at Science 2323. Shout out to him. I don't know him personally. Man of Steel is one of the best CBMs this genre has to offer. Thank God Zack Snyder showed the world how awesome Superman truly is. Not a one-dimensional cardboard cutout like you people want. Mm. 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 Eric at Anarice Lover and Anaris Lover. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Man of Steel perfectly showed us Superman in a post 9-11 world and one that gave us a true sense of what the creators had in mind in the golden age. Not a blue boy scout, but a champion of the people. Man of Steel is a masterpiece. Winter, go Winter Girl, hashtag Snyder's verse, hashtag release the Snyder Cut says, Man of Steel is a film that makes Superman more human than other interpretations by making him a Kryptonian American immigrant who wants to help people who faces everything someone like him would face, but never gives up and becomes Earth, Earth's greatest hero. It's neither gritty nor edgy. Mm. And bro, we should all be celebrating Aquaman going upwards towards a billion dollars. But yet and still, there's just this, 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 I don't know what to even call it. This bitch assness. You know, you, you get these, these so-called bloggers and again, professional wannabe uh, editors, you know, making these posts like this guy, Javi Grillo. Are you a mark? Never mind. You know, making these posts to antagonize people for liking something. You know what I'm saying? And it's bullshit, honestly. It's bullshit. You know? And and I agree. I, I'm, I'm so glad to see so many people respond to this person. You know? At the, the fictionalist, I think that's what that says. Man of Steel is single-handedly the greatest take on that's supposed to be Superman slash Kal-El slash Clark. This movie literally made me fall in love with Superman. Same here. For you to think otherwise is your prerogative. But it also doesn't give you the right to undermine what this film means for others. This movie made me fall in love with Superman. For you to think otherwise is your prerogative, but it also doesn't give you the right to undermine what this film means for others. And I agree. I completely agree. We should be happy in celebrating Aquaman's success, especially financially. You know, that movie's about to gross a billion dollars. And yet and still, every chance, I, I every every article... It's, uh, you know, oh, Aquaman did this. Aquaman 
prove that the DCU is heading in the right direction. Aquaman proved this. But there's but there's no bias. There's no bias. There is a bias. You know? And you know, again, whatever you like, I don't care. I really I really just don't care. But I do have a problem with professionals like quote unquote professionals claiming they're a nice guy and talking about I'm going to I'm going to come at you with lead pipe cruelty. Like what do you even mean by that? You, you 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 say righteous anger, but that doesn't even sound something that doesn't even sound humane. As a matter of fact, it really sounds disturbing. You know. Like Drake said, the nerve, the audacity. You know, and yeah, I'm calling you out. And I know there's going to probably be some bitch assness in my comment section. That's fine. You know, and no disrespect to Chris Evans, but bro, you really chose that gif to try and threaten people with? Really? I just don't understand it, man. Like, we, we're supposed to be focused on moving forward, you know? Getting ready for that announcement that a lot of bitch ass people like this person in front of me are dreading and acting like it's not going to happen, but it's going to happen. And I'm going to be I'm going to be on YouTube ugly crying. And, and, and clapping when it happens. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to buy a 4K TV when it does happen and a 4K Blu-ray player. I think I said that shit right, 4, 4K player. But yeah. You know? I don't understand what 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 gives you what think you, what makes you think you have the right to to just decide that I, I I can get on Twitter and and say something so disturbing like lead pipe cruelty. Like, bro, what's your problem? You know? It really concerns me. It really concerns me. You all uh, can uh, follow me on Twitter if you haven't. It's in my de uh, in my uh, description. But yeah, it, it it really disturbs me, bro. And I don't understand why, 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 why this is still this is still a thing, you know. Again, shout out to Brother Earth and Khan, man. You know, he's a, a supporter of Zach, a supporter of my channel, a supporter of many other uh, great channels as well. Funny, uh, I stand, hashtag I stand with Zach Snyder at DC News says, funny how people have preconceived notions about what a Superman Batman movie should be like. When the MCU is allowed to change the storylines and the character development of their heroes as and when they like. Ooh, yes. Exactly. Please tell me why, why everybody just thinks they can somehow just make a fantastic Superman and Batman movie. Let's talk about that. Why is the MCU allowed to have so many passes, but DC just can't? But there's no bias. Yeah, I'm ranting. And I'm not doing. You know? You can't answer, can you? You know? And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Uh, I, 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 I caught hold of this tweet. I'm so glad. Uh, see, y'all didn't need to see that. I'm so glad that I caught hold of this tweet, man. I, I really am. Cause again, 
it just proves a lot of what I and so many others have been saying, you know. Shout out to uh, at it's Davery, man, is, and he says, man is still really exposed how little people actually know about Superman. Yeah, you know, and this is exactly what I was gonna say next. Uh, shout out to Joe Lane thirty three. People think they know Superman based off of the Reeves films, as if that film was issue zero. They don't even realize that they make themselves look so stupid. Yeah. You know, people can't people see and, and, and it, 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 it's, it's, so, it's something with uh, it's something that's happened not just with Superman, but with other uh, movie franchises and, and popular characters as well. You know, people see one take and they just can't unsee it, if that makes sense, you know. And it's it's sad, you know. It's sad. I I really, uh, I I really don't understand it. And at the end of the day, we can argue all we want. You can say what you want to about Rotten Tomatoes. I don't care about Rotten Tomatoes. You can say what you want to about BVS. But I promise you, I can promise you this. And you can parade in my comment section and try and debate me all you want to. But I can promise you this. I can promise you this. Put that microphone back in my mouth. I can promise you this. Ten years from now, we are still going to be debating and talking about these movies. Because we're doing the same with Watchmen. You know? And I love Man of Steel, man. It's it, like so many people say, it made me interested in Superman as a character. It piqued my interest in Superman as a character. Superman Returns did not do that. With all due respect to the 78 film, Richard Donner's film isn't something that we should be, you know, looking to as an ideal movie in this day and age. For its time period, yes, it's a good, it's a very, it's a very good movie. But now, I want to see a superhero film grounded in reality, something that takes the source material serious. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Rebecca Johnson at Derby Kid says, "Man of Steel inspired me to keep going during chemo treatment for breast cancer." Seeing Clark Kent and Superman overcome trials was comforting during a time when my body was broken and I didn't know what would happen to me. Hope that's okay to tell you. You see, man, you see the impact a, a movie like Man of Steel can have? Look at that, man. That's beautiful. I I, I ran, in the words of uh, Abel Tesfe, uh The Weeknd, I ran out of tears when I was 18, but this got me low-key emotional, bro. I want to, y'all didn't need to see that either. I just want to shout out everybody, man, who, who continue, not only continues to stand by, you know, their opinions, regardless of if it's the popular or the unpopular one, because you know me, I don't give a fuck. I will continue I will continue all in the 2019, all in the 2020, all in the 2021, all in the 2049. Shout out to uh, Ryan Gosling. All in the 2050, all in the 2060, if the earth isn't underwater by the end, or we not living in space. I will keep defending Man of Steel. I will keep defending BVS. And I can promise you one thing. This isn't the end. You all can get on, you bloggers and, and Twitter uh, trolls and Twitter wannabe gods that probably low-key still live in your mom's basement. No disrespect to the guys that's trying to make it out their mom's basement. You guys that want to have a problem 
with people liking a movie. You're starting to slowly see an uproar. And it's not gonna come, it's not gonna slow down anytime soon. And simply putting Marvel gifts, the weakest Marvel gifts at that, in your in your in your in your little picture, ain't scaring nobody. And I'm just letting y'all know right now. I love y'all. And that's why I do that's part of the reason I do this. I love you, you motherfuckers, sometimes. All the time. I, I hate what y'all do, but I love y'all, bro. But I'm letting you know right now, I'm just not the one. You want to come in my comment section talking that stuff? We can get it. You know? And at the end of the day, man, opinions are opinions. They, they're just that. Man of Steel is one of, the, is one of the best origin movies I've ever seen in my life. Aside from, like, Batman Begins, X-Men First Class... The first Iron Man, maybe. Uh, Man of Steel is right up there. BVS is, to me, one of the best, probably top five, top three, even, comic book movies I've seen. Ultimate Edition, easily, probably top two, honestly. And sometimes, like Drake also said, you know, you have to... Be first, but take second. And I just said a mouthful there.